Limerick hit the front inside the first five minutes when Sean Russell's corner found Vinny Fardy, who headed in his fifth goal in five games to give his side the lead. Not long after, it was 2-0. Robbie Williams tumbled in the area and referee Jim McKell pointed to the spot to give Limerick a penalty. Michael Daly seemed to be the culprit as Williams fell over. And Ian Turner put the resultant penalty straight down the middle to extend the visitors' lead. Limerick have had a remarkable turnaround in fortune in recent weeks and arrived in Drogheda unbeaten in August as they look to catch those above them in the league. And they went 3-0 up not long after the penalty when Turner's cross was hit by the head of Dar Rainsford and 3-0 to Limerick now. Drogheda responded to their own horror start when they got a goal back just before the break. The ball played into Lee Duffy. Sean Kelly produced a superb tackle, but the ball fell kindly for Tiernan Mulvena, who buried it. Encouragement for the home support. Limerick, though, were well on top and were so unlucky when Shane Tracy's free kick smacked off Michael Slingerman's crossbar. Lee Lynch didn't cover himself in glory, really, with the follow-up. Another draw had a goal before half-time would have made the game interesting, and they very nearly got one, too, as the half-time whistle approached. The ball ping-ponged around the Limerick area for what seemed an age as the visitors tried desperately to clear their lines, but they failed. And Drogheda's Michael Daly sneaking in at the back post, headed inches wide with his cross-goal header. But Limerick were soon further ahead. They added a fourth before the break when Turner's corner was knotted in by Robbie Williams at the back post. Drogheda almost pulled one back after the break as a corner deceived Freddie Hall in the Limerick goal and bounced back into play off his back post. A moment of relief for the Bermudan international. Hall, though, helped to keep his side's three-goal advantage when he pulled out a late save from Lee Duffy. And over the weekend, Drogs manager Johnny McDonnell left the club by mutual consent. And in the end, Limerick left with a 4-1 victory. I'm pretty pleased with the win and also the display. I mean, again, we've come away from home, we've created good chances and um, took them. And um, so you've got to be very pleased, yeah. We didn't uh, play for the first 13 minutes and we conceded three goals. The game is over. Basically, the game is over. Impossible to, to retrieve it. Uh, had a couple of chances in the first half, but the game is over. Absolutely, after 13 minutes. Just spoke in the dressing room, just naivety. Got done on corners, gave away a penalty. Lost the ball in midfield when we're in good possession. You know, so you're giving it to the other team to complete impetus to go ahead and for 13 minutes, complete disaster.